Hey everybody, Riley here with the St. Louis Science Center, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a carbon snake. Now to do this experiment, you just need a few household items. You need some baking soda, powdered sugar, lighter fluid. I'm using denatured alcohol, but lighter fluid is recommended. A lighter, a small bowl for mixing, a teaspoon, some sand, and a fire-resistant pan. Now let's get started. First thing, to start this experiment, you want to fill up your fire-resistant pan with some sand, just enough to cover the bottom. Make a nice mound of sand in the middle and put an indent in it with your finger, just like so. Then you're going to want to mix up your baking soda and powdered sugar. You want about a four to one ratio, so about four teaspoons of powdered sugar to one teaspoon of baking soda. I've already mixed mine up there. Now next, you're going to take your lighter fluid and you want to get a nice saturation there in the middle of your sand where you made that indentation on the mound. Again, I'm using denatured alcohol, but lighter fluid is recommended for this experiment. All right, so once you put a good amount of lighter fluid in the middle of your sand mound, you're going to take your baking soda, powdered sugar mixture, and you're gonna put as much of that as you can right in the middle of your mound there where you made the indentation with your finger. All right, and make sure you move all your other materials out of the way. Now that we've got our experiment ready to go, you light that lighter fluid, and your carbon snake is gonna start to take form. Now this experiment requires a little bit of patience. It's not gonna instantly turn into a carbon snake. So you have to watch it for a few minutes before you see it start to take shape. Now the reason this experiment works is some of that sugar burns up, some of it is gonna turn into carbon, and some of our baking soda is gonna turn into sodium carbonate. Now that's gonna make up the solid portion of our snake. And both of those things also will produce some water, vapor, and carbon dioxide. So that's what makes our snake rise. So both of those, our baking soda and our sugar are producing solid components that form the body of the snake. And the water vapor and carbon dioxide is what makes it continue to rise. Now let's check it out.